All right, so the station's back over there. We're walking across. This is the Satetsu River. This is our local river here in Matsukawa City. <clears throat> That's the town right over there, the main bit of it. So we're on our way over there and then like over on the other side of those houses there. That's where the home is. It's a, it's two and a half kilometers. It's not a small little walk, but so I'm going to be taking this little route down here. As soon as we get off, we'll be walking across and I'll be walking by those greenhouses out there. It's kind of like a, instead of having to walk out to the, the highway that goes like way that way, we just kind of got like a little shoot, which is nice. But I will say, I, I cannot. As soon as the train left, dead silence. Dead silence out here. Exactly what I'm into. As you guys know, in in Chiefland, it is quiet as a mouse most of the time. Um, you still hear some stuff, but you know, it's quiet. And uh, this is exactly the same. That's exactly what I want. Wow, look how big the river can be. Or maybe used to be. Like, golly, look how high the shore is. And it's just that little bitty. You can barely even see it. I bet you it was all through here at one time. Wow. Wow. It might be a, a bit higher in the summer, too. Who knows? I, I, don't, I don't have any idea. I've only ever seen it real small. So, it'll be interesting to... To learn. I mean, look at this. There's one car. You see one car moving. Any other cars? Nope. One car. One car. <laughs> I've been passed by two cars so far. Like, that's it. I mean, it is it is early for a lot of people. Um, I know most things don't really start till like nine or ten here, which is kind of surprising. You know, but, hey, whatever. All right. See, so that instead of having to go all the way down and that way, I get to kind of scoot, scoot, and, and like shoot right through, which is really, really nice. So, yeah, there's this cool little path here. Man. So that's like the, the mountain that's behind the house. It's back there. <sighs> So neat to see like from a distance and from like an overall perspective you know yeah you know, it's hard to see these things sometimes in person and uh you know compared to how you see it like on google maps and stuff that little bird's eye view and uh, that doesn't really give you the topography at all <sighs> man i just don't know any of these plants either <laughs> that's another thing that i would have to work really hard at just start all over again learning plants because man they don't have like anything that, that's uh, that i'm used to i mean it makes sense too though it's a more northern climate than what i'm used to i mean it's supposed to it's supposed to snow here later today actually it's supposed to rain and then snow like overnight supposedly we all know how how well google maps can it's their stuff, right, sometimes. Or, uh, AccuWeather, I should say. Uh, yeah. You see everything seeding up and getting ready for the next season. Super cool. Super cool seeing all the rice. Yeah, I don't know anything about how they, how they plant or, or anything like that, but I'd be super excited to learn. You know, I do know that, you know, they have these little trenches and stuff. That's how they water everything. Yeah, and you can see, like, so these things go up and down depending on if they want water or don't want water or how much water and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And one of the, uh, one of the things that you do as a community member is you'll come and help, like, clean these out. Uh, you clean out the river, uh, sidewalks, you know, all that kind of stuff, so... Pretty cool. So, all right, I'm gonna get into the city a little bit more and I'll start up another one. So the elevation changes are something that I'm not used to. 
that's for sure. You can see how low it is back there. I'm going up. And now I'm about to go back down again. <laughs> so this is like one of the newer uh, neighborhoods in the area. Like a whole bunch of new houses and stuff. And all kinds of cool stuff going on. <clears throat> telling you the city's on its way back up Ichinosuke Higashiyama and that's where we're going Higashiyama Higashiyama Cho it, it, it's hard to pronounce everything it's uh I'm trying to remember so there's like they even like break it down to neighborhoods kind of so there's like little like you know you have the um uh, uh prefecture and province and city and like all that kind of stuff but there's it goes even smaller than that so this is like matsukawa city but then uh like i just said that's the uh uh, Higashi Amacho. Uh, oh yeah, and then that's like a place that I could totally get a job at. It's automotive wiring harness manufacturer. <laughs> and I know electrical. So there's that, and then like right around the corner, there's that street right there, right around the corner is the, uh, police station. And, uh, what else was up there? There was something else up there. And, um... Yeah, I'm trying to learn the, the area as best I can, you know, but it's really difficult because not, not very much is on Google, you know, like it doesn't really tell you a lot. Um, but we're getting down into it now. Oh, cool. Seems like the onions and stuff. So I know that at least. And a couple of rows of onions. I got some other stuff going. <clears throat> I'm wondering what's on most of the vines. I do know that they do like to grow grapes. Um, so, I mean, that could be possible. But I don't know. I don't know. Like I was saying, there's a lot to learn. Alright, so we're really coming up to it now. We're getting really, really close. So this is what they just changed. And like redid. And it looks like it must be finished. So that's cool. Um, so this used to just go straight and then boop and, and in that way as you can kind of see and uh, Just in like the last year Yep, it is open. So they changed it to go around the corner and like next to the river instead of into the city Which is really cool actually, you know, <laughs> really really cool Very awesome that they would do something like that You know just minimize the amount of traffic coming by people's houses which I'm sure Everybody really appreciates now. I could walk that way, but I'd rather just walk this so Yeah, there's the fields in front of the house and then back there Way back there is the hospital So we're not too far Just down this road and around the corner And we're there I could take a little uh, a faster way like through the field, but I kind of want to go this way instead. So, yeah, as you can see, you know, it used to come like that. Yeah, like this, basically, and then poop, and, and, and. So, yeah, really awesome that they did that. I like that a lot. You know, really keep the traffic down in here, big time. So, I do know that there's a decent amount of houses in here. Not like crazy or anything, but... It seems like a lot of them are newer. You know, there are some old ones, as you can see. But I think most of them have been kind of torn down. Like, there used to be a, a whole little row of them right there. And they knocked those all down. To, uh, you know, change the direction of the road. Which is interesting. But yeah, this place looks abandoned. Totally could be. I mean, it's, yeah, I guarantee it is. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. That's too bad. 
What a nice. But it's beat, boy. Oh, yeah, termites, water, all kinds of stuff. It's just got to go. Yeah. All right, shit, this one could be too. For all we know, probably is. Yeah, honestly, I bet you it is. I bet you that one is. <sighs> it's really neat to be able to see the things that you couldn't get a really good idea about, you know? Look at the size of the boulder, for God's sake. And they've just been sitting there for years. That's the other crazy part. It's like, I'll take them, put them in my place. <laughs> I thought this was neat. I really like their garden and like gate setup and everything. Really cool. Yeah, you know, just like a little small garden, nothing crazy, but super cool. This is like the style of the house that I'm interested in. There's a bunch around. So it makes me wonder like, did that person own the area or you know, was this part of their family that owned some of these other ones around? And I don't know. Because they had these little, I don't even know what they're called, like filials or something. <clears throat> that go like on the tops. You can see like there's a little bitty small one, but there's, there's much bigger ones. And uh, not all of them. That's cool. See, that's like kind of like our style. Man, look at that. Amazingly beautiful. But, um, yeah, see, there's, like, a, a slightly bigger one. And it looks a lot closer to the one that's at the house. So, yeah, like, some of these, you can see, like, all the little end cap things and stuff. They all have, uh, uh, religious symbols. Mm. So, they practice, uh, Shintoism out here and Buddhism and those are Shinto symbols right there. See there's another one of the exact same stuff. Oop. Exact same style. Exact same everything. See there's that bigger I, I really don't know what the name of it is. I'm just calling it a filial but I have no clue. I do know that this is this is for sale. They want like I don't know, three or four million or something. But it'd be pretty neat to put a house in like a Little garden and stuff for somebody. You know. So there's little stores around. Not a lot. Just a few. There's another really nice one. I'd love to learn the uh, the gardening techniques. How they trim the trees and all that kind of stuff. Taking out the trash. I would help him if I could. He's gonna get there before I even get to him. <sighs> oh yeah, he's done. These little puppies. We <sighs> puppy. <laughs> oh puppies, I know. Hi puppies. <laughs> There's a little store. Get some stuff, huh? See again, like that's the thing that you just don't know hundred percent. Where everybody is and who's open and who isn't and so it's really cool to be able to get to see it. It's cool. I love the flowers and you see they even have greens and they use the greens like flowers, like flowering plants. <laughs> so cool. I don't know what kind of greens they are specifically though. They look like some kind of a kale or something. I'm sure. Okay, so here's the first shrine. This is the... Uh, uh, closest one to me basically that other than the one on the property <sighs> and we're absolutely going to go up first I have to pay my respects to the area 
This isn't just for me. This is for the area too. There used to be a, a thing that came up and over here. Uh, 10 years ago it was here. I know that. I don't know what's up there, but I don't want to check right now. <clears throat> Amazing. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your help. Somebody gave you a chainsaw. That is so nice of them. <laughs> okay. And away we go. There's an old castle up over on that hill way up there. See, I'd like to get my pressure washer here and clean this all up. Part of my community service, you know. If I was to live here do this and like the sidewalks and stuff try to help clean up a little bit all right we're getting much much closer here oh they have the same one no they don't that's right it is a little bit different those are close i was talking about the um bricks in the wall there. They look a little bit like the ones at the house. So you can see the the mud and straw covering that they do like on the walls. The old style. Really neat. And there's another one abandoned. This one semi looks abandoned, but kind of not. I don't know. You never do know. <sighs> cool little water source. So this is the Matsukawa City Center. Um, I do know that they have like community gatherings and stuff. This actually used to be a, a sumo training facility, which is pretty cool. <sighs> So the, these things actually tell you about like landslide areas and stuff. What is possible and where. So like that's actually the home that I'm looking at. So you can see, I mean, but I mean like everywhere is basically. But the only real red spot is in the place that doesn't have a, any buildings anyway. So we are good. Japan Post. That's your uh, local mail, mail carrier and everything. Uh, I think it, there's a couple other things you can do there. But I'm not sure. It's all stuff that I'll have to figure out over time. Yeah, see Matsukawa Civic Center. I have to try to go in there later today. If, if possible, if they're open or anything. And... Uh, Maybe get some information about the house. We are almost there. Almost there. That one's for sure abandoned. That's oh, huge. Still can't believe I'm here. It is amazing. Uh, Looks like a orange trees back there, possibly. I can see a whole bunch of like oranges or something in it. Super cool. Beautiful. Hey, everybody loves their pre eye here. I'd fit right in with mine. <laughs> I could probably get one here cheaper than it would be to just ship mine, you know? Maybe, I don't know. 
That's the thing. It's like, would I bring my car? Would I bring the tractor? I mean, I don't specifically need the tractor, but... <sighs> Probably just sell it. And, uh... Yeah, there's a couple. You know. Who knows? Who knows? All I know is... I'm basically here. I'm gonna redo 